Hypixel Skyblock is a pretty big game, so most of you will probably know almost everything that has to do with the game, but I think I found a few obscure and hidden things that some players might actually not know about. These secrets disprove many of the thinkings that many players hold in the game. So continue to watch the video because hopefully you'll actually learn something new. But before the video starts, please consider subscribing if you do end up enjoying this video or any of my other videos. You can also join the discord server in the description below to get into the under 15k gang role on my discord server. And back to the video. The first secret is slightly well known, but there's still many players who don't know about the secret that has to do with Slayer. The secret is that if you've looked at any of the Slayer drops, that you can see these 20% drops. But this is actually false, as these are not 20% rarity, these are actually 15% rarity. There's no definitive admin proof or anything of the sort that proves this, but Thousands and thousands of players have done thousands, over 10,000s of Revenants and Tarantulas and Svens, and they all come to the conclusion that the rarity of Toxic Arrow Poison and Hamster Wheels are closer to 15% than 20%. The only exception to this are Revenants. Even though it's stated that Flower Flesh's rarity is about 20%, many players have also tested that this is extremely incorrect and Flower Flesh is much rarer. And even if you do a few tier 4 revs, that you can probably see that you will get very little foul flesh and I can assure you that even with only 300,000 rev xp that I for sure see this happen to me as well. The next secret has to do with the fact that spike bait is actually much worse than fish bait even though people think spike bait is really good. There's a decent bit of math that goes into this but I don't want to bore you with the details, but I'll link the forum post that goes over it. But the basic idea is that if you have over 20 sea creature chance, which is the base sea creature chance, fish bait will always be better. So this one might be a little controversial, but it basically has to do with sugarcane versus pumpkin farms. After the change to sugarcane, where when you break the bottom stock, it gives you the XP for the top stock. People have begun to think that sugarcane is actually better for XP than pumpkin. Even after the changes, pumpkins are still the best for XP. And if you want more proof, I'll link a forum post that goes over in detail onto why that is. But there's actually a reason to use sugarcane still. There's still two things that make sugarcane good. This being that it's faster to make the farms and it produces much more money. Due to sugarcane's insane growth speed compared to pumpkin, you would only need about two sugarcane farms to grind infinitely, which is much easier to make than the four pumpkin farms that you would probably need to grind infinitely pumpkins. And almost everybody already knows that enchanted sugar is the best for money. Just do a quick example of one row doing 4 enchanted pumpkins and 13 enchanted sugar, you can see that I get about double the coins from the enchanted sugar over the enchanted pumpkin. This next secret has to do with the dungeons in the alpha network, but it is very likely that this secret will be brought in to the normal network as well. This secret has to do with a secret room that you can find in the dungeons that actually allows you to buy high level enchant books. Right now, you should be able to see some pictures of these books, some of them being old like Sharpness 6 to some new ones like Smite 7. What you might notice that some of the prices are actually quite cheaper than normal market prices as of now, mainly Sharpness 6. You might actually want to end up selling your books now before they maybe drop in price due to people buying the items from the secret room and either getting it for really cheap or entirely changing the market to shift down the price. This last secret is about a potentially better method to do dragons. As you might know, the normal way to do dragons is usually to place two eyes. But I've discovered that you can make quite a bit of profit and minimize your loss by using one eye instead of two. I have a video that goes over this in more detail, 
But the basic understanding is that when placing one eye, you have the chance of getting all drops if you place first except the AOTD and the Ender Dragon pet. The main reason I think this is good is because it allows you to minimize your losses very much as you're only spending about half the price normal players do to get the same pieces except excluding an AOTD. If this video did end up helping you at all or you learned something new, please consider subscribing and goodbye.